Hey guys, welcome to and welcome back to my channel, No Limits. Sorry I haven't posted any full videos in a while. I've just been busy. I haven't had too much luck out hunting. So, I just picked up another trail camera, so I thought I'd do a review on it. This is the Bushnell Cellucor 20 uh, Dual Sim uh, Cellular Trail Camera. This is the newer model. We bought the older model last year. We were running that for, we ran that pretty much the entire season. Um, I like them. Good quality pictures. They're decent price. I mean, they're, I think, maybe 130 new from where we bought one of them. Or for this one, I got it from Walmart on sale for like 65 bucks. That's why this would be about the time I'd be looking for them. End of the year, beginning of the year. We do a lot of sales. So, with this camera, it just comes with camera. Um, no SD card. Um, so inside the camera you have the eject button for your battery tray to come out. It comes with, your, you need 12 AA batteries to run it. Uh, oops. You gotta make sure you push it up in there. The SD card goes up in here. A wake up button just to make sure your camera is working if you don't want to turn it on or off battery life, camera status, and cell signal. And then it comes with, obviously, the cell antenna. And then the tree strap. I really like how these tree straps work because it's kind of hard to see, but they kind of bite in, so it's a little bit easier to move. But yeah, this will be the second year I've ran these. The new model, which I have one, and then I have the older model. Yeah, pretty clear definition pictures. They come out nice. So I'm going to try and show you guys some of the pictures from this year. Here's my number one shooter, a big 10 point. Uh, here is another picture of him on in a different location. I mean, for nighttime pictures, a uh, picture has actually come out pretty good. Here is his off over here my number two shooter buck i'll zoom in so you can see him a little bit better he's a nine point the other one's a ten that's him uh he has a big hook right here on his left side so i call him stickers here it's a here's another picture of stickers and a little bit better lighting comes with no snow or rain coming down um yeah, here's another one against a tree. I mean, I like the camera quality and the pictures. I mean, you can easily count all nine of his points just from that one picture. Um, here's a little bit earlier, but uh, it's just a group of does. It changes about five, or it depends on the sunset time. If you have an earlier sunset, it'll go darker earlier if you have a later sunset it'll go darker later here is a daytime picture of the big buck my number one big old guy and with this I mean picture quality is still good enough where you can actually be able to count all of his tines the picture looks a little off because it was really rainy that day and there's another picture uh, I would recommend buying these. I think my dad and I might eventually be buying maybe possibly another one or we might try and buy a uh, another one. It might be another brand, it might be a Tacticam or something. I really don't know yet what we we don't know yet, but uh I'm just gonna go go through some of the pictures that I've just got nighttime, daytime. Here is another picture of the big shooter I mean what's nice about these if it's a clear day you can see into the background too so it's not just oh well there's just a tree and there's a deer and you can't see anything else you can actually see what's going on behind them and like here's one of just a little buck during the daytime I mean even for sometimes mid movement on deer I still get decent pictures from the camera from them, and that's I. I'll go to the Bushnell app that you have to download, 
Uh, I don't save a whole lot of pictures off of them. I just save some of the ones that I like. Like here's another daytime picture on the main blind. You can see everything going on behind and everything. Uh, I haven't had any pictures of deer lately for some reason. They've just been skipping my blind, skipping my corn pile. Yeah, here's another one of a deer further back, but you're still almost able to count his tines and see how big he is. You can get a good rough score on him. And then, uh, nope. Yeah, here's another one of uh, stickers coming through the dark. I mean, it's got, I think it's a 35 or 40 foot, don't quote me on this, it's like a 40 foot range I think on it. It's got a good range in the dark. Here's a picture, actually a pretty good detailed picture of a raccoon standing on its back legs at night. I just thought that's kind of a funny picture, just seeing him standing there. Yeah, for example, here's... A, yeah, here's kind of one of a deer sneaking through brush, sneaking through the brush, and if you zoom in enough, it's good enough where you can actually see his horns peeking through. So yeah, I just wanted to do a review on the uh, Cellucor, oops, uh, Bushnell Cellucor 20 dual sim. Uh, I'd recommend you buying these, but like I said, maybe instead of buying them full price i would say you guys should pick them up around this time of year or catch them when they have any sales uh i mean i had the only the reason the only reason i had the one camera fail i mean every camera would do it it was just sitting out in the pouring rain for months and it had to endure a whole lot of weather for a long period of time without having a rest break and it's constantly running batteries changing it and SD card clearing a little bit, but uh, yeah, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and tell me what you guys want to see next. Peace.